We're at the premiere of He Named Me Malala right here in New York City. Let's go check out the red carpet and see what the guests have to say. I'm actually just looking forward to learning more about Malala's story. I, I met her one year ago and was blown away. I've read about her um, many, many times over the years, but, um, but I'm, excited to see, I'm excited to see the film in its totality. So. In the beginning it was hard because I had no idea how it would work, but Davis has done it so beautifully. The animation he has done, the way he has delivered the story of my father and how he stood up to, to say in society that women do have a name, they do have an identity. So uh, after watching the film, uh, it was so beautiful that it made me so happy that uh, it can reach many people and it can inspire many people to come and join us. I'll tell you that um you know that she has got a lot of prizes before attack and after she was attacked and she got rehabilitated even the greatest prize Nobel Peace Prize but one day she came from school and she had that test I mean just uh, a weekly test exam in her school and she got 10 out of 10 marks and she was jumping and dancing and, and she Abba I have got 10 out of 10 I said to her that I have never seen you so happy, so excited. She told me I worked hard for it and it means to me a lot. So she loves education. And you can understand that in the last two and a half years, she wrote a book, I'm Malala. We volunteered and she volunteered for a documentary for 18 months. He named me Malala. Mm -hmm. We went to Nigeria, we went to Jordan, we went to Kenya. And uh, apart from that, she got the Nobel Peace Prize and she had to talk to many media. But instead of all these activities, she was so focused on her studies that she got a straight A's in her GCSE exams. Fantastic. And it was the most proudest moment in my life that I, I, I was thinking that whether she will be academically the same girl that was in Swat or not. Mm -hmm. But thanks God, she proved herself. And I have never seen her as happy as she was on the night when she got her results. Not on any other achievement. I should not mention anything, but that was the happiest day of her life. That means that education means a lot to her. And I'll tell you a very interesting thing. She always believed that she should get good results. She did two week work experience after her GCSE because it is a requirement of the college and university admissions and she wants this is her determination and this is truly her feeling that she doesn't want to enter any college that she is a Nobel laureate or she has got many prizes or she's Malala who was shot or who fought for education she wants to get to any good college because she has good results good DMC so that can I mean is a really long answer and how does it feel to be the father of such an amazing, phenomenal woman? I'm thankful to God. I mean, she is a gift of God. And um, not, she's not only for family, she's for the world. And we want to see a big change, positive change for the children all over the world, for education and peace through her. That's my dream. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. So tell us, what was your inspiration for this project? Just this girl and her father. I really wanted to tell a very simple personal father-daughter story. I'm a father, I have two daughters, and when I learn about their life, I'm inspired. I want to be a better father. And my daughters, when they see that, they want to be a little bit more courageous. They want to step in and, 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 and speak out for what's important. When girls speak out, the world gets better. And what was your experience working with Malala and her family? Oh, they're just the most wonderful people I've ever met. You know, they're, they're Muslim, my family's not, but I realize that their kitchen table it's a lot like my kitchen table, home in Los Angeles. There's a lot of laughter, there's a lot of teasing, there's a lot of joy. And when the world sees this and meets this family, they realize that the world can be a little smaller and people can inspire each other. And you can feel good about things because Malala has a very important, very simple message. And what is that message that you're hoping audience members will walk away with tonight? On a simple level, when you speak out for what you believe, the world will listen. And sometimes it's a quiet, simple voice that changes the world. And uh, when people all around see this movie, they're inspired. 
So I encourage people to go see this movie when it opens and, and maybe they will feel differently about the world. And that was the premiere of He Named Me Malala right here in New York City. I'm Susie Gutler and you're watching SVTN.